Good evening. In the midst of the most bizarre election this province has ever seen, a family drama is unfolding around Doug Ford. Now, his family's ups and downs have been played out in public over the years, but this one is now taking over the final days of the election campaign. As the widow of the late Mayor Rob Ford alleges in a multi million dollar lawsuit that the man who wants to run the province's finances can't run the family company. Doug Ford addressed those allegations today and talked about his niece and nephew. This is, this is tragic uh, for, for Stephanie and, and, and Dougie. And our, our family has always stood behind, the, the kids always stood behind uh, Renata. And we didn't, never wavered. And uh, we're, we're just, we're shocked. That's, that's, that's what it comes down to. We're, we're floored. A softer spoken Doug Ford addressing the allegations against him by Renata Ford, the widow of his younger brother, former mayor Rob Ford, who passed away from cancer two years ago. Renata Ford is filing a $16.5 million lawsuit against the man who could be Ontario's next premier, alleging he's kept her and her children from millions of dollars, including shares in the family business Deco Labels. Doug Ford wouldn't answer if he would release the financial statements of the company his father founded or what his salary was, but he denied all of the allegations. Those claims are false and without merit, and I can tell you this is going to be proven in court. What kind of impact do you think this will have on voters? Do you think that it will turn some off? And is it also the reason why you've been refusing one-on-ones with the media, which is highly unprecedented. Are you being no, protected no, from, no, from uh, dealing with the Well, media? first of all, let me address the media. Cynthia, every single day uh, I see the media, I talk to the media, more than once too. As a matter of fact, you know, at the beginning of this campaign, I've had, probably had more media access than both the candidates uh, combined. Actually, both Andrea Horvath and Kathleen Wynne have been far more accessible. They spend significantly more time answering questions and follow-ups are permitted. Both have given several one-on-one -on -one interviews. We tried asking Ford for one again. Why no one-on-ones? Are you afraid of me? Oh, no, you're the last person I'm afraid of. Well, then why won't you give me a one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, we will. After, I promise. June the 8th. And we will hold him to that. Now, Doug Ford also mentioned today that he hopes his political opponents will remember when it comes to the allegations that children are involved. Coming up, I'll tell you what Kathleen Wynne and Andrea Horvath to say about the allegations. Well, she admitted over the weekend that she won't be premier by the end of this week, but our Kathleen Wynne's days as liberal leader also numbered. The Brockville mayor, David Henderson, who's running for the leader, said he'd like a shot at the liberal top job. And Kathleen Wynne says she's okay with that, even though she hasn't announced if she's stepping down. I think that it is healthy in a democratic system to have people who aspire to uh, to lead, people who aspire to uh, to higher office. I think that is uh, I think that's a healthy healthy thing. And I, I, you know, I believe that I believe and I hope that there are others, uh, there are other liberals in uh, in the province who, in somewhere in the back of their mind, are thinking one day I want I might want to be the leader as well. I think that's a healthy thing. Meanwhile, Doug Ford was campaigning in Wynne's own riding of Don Valley West this morning, where polls say PC candidate John Kieran has a decent shot of unseating Wynne. Throughout the day, Ford was repeating a now familiar refrain using the terms radical and NDP side by side. We can't afford a radical NDP agenda, an agenda of raising taxes on businesses and families, an agenda that will make it even harder to do business in Ontario and create new jobs. Friends, I've talked to hundreds of business owners and they are terrified of an NDP government. Meanwhile, NDP leader Andrea Meanwhile, NDP leader Andrea Horvath was at Brampton Civic Hospital issuing a similar warning at about a potential PC majority government. 
We've heard Kathleen Wynne now say that uh, that she's uh, not going to become the Premier of Ontario. That leaves Mr. Ford uh, and me uh, in terms of the choice. Uh, and I, I ask people to think carefully about uh, about who it is that's going to make sure uh, that your family uh, gets the kind of health care that they need in their hospitals, in their community, and overall.